Hello and welcome to this episode of Megabox Mondays. In this episode I'm going to have a look at the material from Push Plastics called PC plus PBT Orange. So let's have a look after the intro. So this material is a blend of, of polycarbonate or um, polybutylene tap. I can't say it. <laughs> you have to show you. <laughs> you can see here uh, and the material. I have no way of saying this word. <laughs> but here they say the hot end temperature should be 235 to 250. Uh, bed temperature 110 plus. Uh, speed not listed, fan off or low, um, other ABS slurry, PI bed or glue on the bed, enclosure and ventilation advised. And I was using uh, a PI sheet with a little bit of magic glue on it and had good uh, bed adhesion with that. But here they say the PC plus PBT uh, is superior stiffness and ductility, balance, great uh, structural increment integrity and drop impact performance, excellent fatigue performance, high chemical resistant to motor oil and grease, manufactured in the USA from 100% virgin resin and then spooled into 750 gram reels. Then the filament is vacuum sealed with desiccant and uh, you can have more information at pushplastics.com and get the, the name or material type. I have no way of saying this word. <laughs> but let's have a look at the prints. And, and as you can see here, I, I did my brake test to te test layer adhesion. I was hoping, because the description was quite promising, that layer adhesion would be nice for this filament. But I found out the average number for this filament was, was 7.6 kilos. Uh, when um, maybe a PLA is 27 kilos. So it's not very good in regard of layer addition in, in my case at least. But uh, I decided to spend a little bit of the filament on, on this test. I do it sometimes when I get some specialty filaments. But then I printed uh, a Benchy. Um, overall it came out pretty nice. Uh, there's a little bit of drooping issue here because there's no, I have no part cooling fan. Um, so that was maybe expected in the overhang, but otherwise the uh, print quality was really great. It looks really nice. Um, you can see a little bit of drooping here in the house as well, but uh, for no part cooling fan and I'm printing at, at 235 degrees, it's maybe expected. <laughs> and then I printed zero layers a lot. Um, that came out excellent. I didn't have any issues here on this print. Um, the overhangs here uh, had no problems. So uh, this came out excellent. So it maybe depends on the on the model or overhangs <laughs> if you get perfect prints or, or not. But uh, this looked pretty nice to me. But, the, <coughs> but those were the prints I did because I did the brake test. I spent a lot of material on that and the bench it takes up quite, <laughs> quite a lot of material as well. So the Zero Layers Lot model was the, the only model. I didn't do any other model or, or other models that I do sometimes. But overall, uh, printing with this material was uh, pretty nice. I printed this on my Prusa MK3 printer uh, with a bed at 210. And I guess you need a, a good bed heater to get that temperature. But other than that, it prints pretty easily. But uh, all metal hot and maybe on, on a good printer is required. The only thing I was not very happy with was the layer adhesion of the test samples. Um, I don't know if you need to dry out this filament to get better layer adhesion or, or what was the reason for that. But sometimes I get bad layer adhesion just because of material handling, <laughs> not the fault of the filament. But uh, this will be it for this filament. If you uh, have this filament and, and have had good results with it, let me know. But um, I would like to try a little bit more <laughs> of this filament to get better uh, chance to test it out. It's not like a full review uh, the make box samples videos. But uh, this will be it for this video. If you like what I'm doing here on the channel, please give this video a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment and tell me what you think. But for now, I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.